Brakatai Howl, Brakatai Howl Shy, Brakatai Howl, Brakatai Howl Shy, Brakatai Howl, Brakatai Howl Shy. I want to say all praise and glory due to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shy. Double honor to the Apostle and Elders, Great Millstone Shy. I want to brothers out there teaching the word of our Heavenly Father and our Lord Savior, Yahweh Shy, and true sincerity. All right, um, I'm making this video real quick as a lamb back lesson. All right, uh, off the brother, uh, one of the brothers in our camp, uh, he did this video, uh, basically, uh, centered around Ricky and uh, Ricky Gantz. All right, and uh, which goes, which goes by the YouTube channel of G220 Ministries, and uh, and got the got the uh, the Edomite over here, the other Edomite, uh, Alpha and Omega Ministries. All right, um, and the far left. All right, and Ricky's on the far right. On, on the screen all right and uh basically this the video that the brother made was centered around pretty much them and it, and it was any it was anybody else uh that comes up uh, against the truth man like jesus the word and all the rest of them guys but um you know we always um you know we always have encounters with these guys uh, mainly because they they hating on brothers and uh how jake is really getting uplifted out of that out of that madness all right and coming back to our heritage man but um and these guys, uh, they always think that they're set up to uh, speak the truth and um, or teach the word, but really you're not set up, man. Because how the Lord set this thing up, He was gonna raise up men of our nation, and how it always been to preach the word, man. That's how it always been, man. It was always men of our nation that was the priest, that was the, uh, you know what I mean, that was the uh, bishops and this and third, that was the holy men. All right, when you read the scriptures, it's about the nation of Israel, man. All right, all of the prophets, all of the priests, all I mean, all those were. All of the holy men that you speak, uh, that you read about, those are all Israelites, man. All so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. They wouldn't know goddamn crackers, all right? They wouldn't know uh, hillbillies or any uh, no damn uh, camel eating uh, uh, Arabs, no Moab, no Moabites, which are the Chinese. They were Israelites, man. All right, which was which are today and present time are right? the descendants of our our forefathers of Jacob. Are the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and uh, it's all the way down to the Mexicans and Cubans and all that, man. All right, but uh, real quick, man, I started off with um, Deuteronomy chapter eighteen, verse fifteen. It says, uh, "The Lord thy power will raise up unto thee a prophet from the midst of thee, of thy brethren, like unto like unto me, unto uh, him ye shall hearken, man." Yeah, man. So as scripture say, man, the Lord's gonna raise up a, a men of thy um. Of thy brethren, all right. You know what I'm saying. And when you read this chapter, all right, um, this is the, this is the book of Deuteronomy, all right, which is mainly written, um, you know what I'm saying, uh, the, the, by Moses and stuff like that, all right, or spoken of by Moses, all right. And um, you know, uh, uh, Moses was what a Levite, all right, which is the he would be um, a, a so called Haitian today. All right, so it's uh, uh, and that was one of the twelve tribes, man. All right, so you, if we listen to anybody, it's supposed to be a fellow Israelite, not not no goddamn uh, pale faced white boy. All right, was you 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 Ricky, man? You running out of gas too, man? Like I left on a brother page on this video, I told him, uh, I said Ricky need he run out of gas. He he need to look he looking for the nearest uh, Sunoco. <laughs> and then you know and you don't got the fruit of the spirit. That's what I said. And that's a uh, inside joke. All right. But anyway, man, you know what I'm saying? We supposed to look for brother, bro, uh, look for uh, men that the Lord was going to raise up out of our nation that was going to teach us the truth. Not not you, Ricky, because you don't got it, nor any of the other guys, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, was G-Man too, man? Like, you know, I think you, like, like the Elder Yashua woman say, man, I think you a tear, man. You know, because you, you, you just, I don't know. I don't get that, that is like vibe from your ass, man. But, um. You know, and then more importantly, why would we listen to you damn people, man? That you know, you, you ain't teaching, you ain't teaching the proper scriptures. You know what I'm saying? The, breaking down the proper way. You know, this will lead me to this scripture, man. All right. And uh, this is uh, the book of Jeremiah, chapter three, verse fifteen, and it reads, um, "It reads, and I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding." Yeah, man. The Lord said He's gonna give us pastors. Uh, he's gonna give us pastors according to our according to His heart. All right, that's gonna feed us uh, knowledge and understanding, man. And what's 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 um what's a what's a pastor what's a um what's a pastor according to his flock, man? All right, uh, according to his heart. You know, they was they, they the, the 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 men of the Lord, the prophets, the ones that spoke about the Bible. And spoke about prophecy stuff like that. They were speaking about the things that was gonna take place in that, in that whatever kingdom they was in, talking about the downfall of that place and the things that are gonna come to pass. All right, and uh, ultimately death and destruction, and because of the unrighteous um, dealings, man. All right, 
Ricky and other people, they not talking about those things, man. All right. They talking about love, peace, and like loving everybody. The, the prophets, when you read any other accounts, man, they never spoke those ways, man. They never spoke about loving every damn body. You know what I'm saying? They was uh, the prophets always spoke about um uh loving the ones that was righteous and whatever kingdom that was in, all right? And loving the ones that was uh for Yahweh by Shem will, all right? They wouldn't never they wouldn't always talking about love that person, love this, even if he wicked, even if he a damn faggot, even if he even if she a lesbian. Hell no, man. That's that's wicked as hell, man. So Ricky, you gotta ask yourself, and for the rest of you guys, like uh Omega Ministries and Jesus the Word and all you other fucking people. All right, you eat them, mice. You got to ask yourselves, man, are y'all speaking according to the Heavenly Father's word? And the answer is no. No, y'all not, man. Really, y'all just out to uh, uh, um, uh, 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 debunk uh, the doctrine because y'all really mad that Jake is uh, woken up, man. All right. I got another scripture, too, man, because like I said, you know, and these guys out here, by the way, you know, Ricky, we haven't seen you out there. And I don't give a hell. I don't give a damn what you say. You ain't out there preaching the word. And if you are, it ain't you ain't doing it correctly, you know. Scriptures say rightly dividing the word. All right. Um, it's the book of uh, Proverbs, chapter twenty-four, verse seven. It says, uh, "Wisdom is too high for a fool; he opens not his mouth in the gate." Yeah, man. It say wisdom is too high for a fool, man. He opens not his mouth in the gate. And uh, you know that's the gate also represents like uh, where brothers be teaching that. All right, and you when you understand the scriptures, man. All right, because Ricky, you really don't, you really don't you got that much to say for real, for real. According to the scriptures, you talk a lot of out of your mouth, but you don't really got that much to say according to the scriptures when we be out there when you run into us. You speak a lot that comes out of your uh, your mind. All right, you don't really come with hard hitting scriptures, especially when we first ran into you. And for the other people that's like that, man, like when the guy, when G Jesus, the word came out there to the brothers in Dallas, I mean, yeah, to the Akim in Dallas, they, they was really coming out of their own heart, man. You ain't had too much to say, really, when it came to scriptures. But I'm reading this over, Proverbs, 27, Proverbs 24, verse 7, it says, Wisdom is too high for a fool, he opened not his mouth uh, in the in the gate. And that touched back on with the, uh, bring back up with the brother, all right, in the camp, all right, which you see his, um, uh, the video that he made, and that's bringing it back home to what he was talking about, man. You really just can't get it, Ricky, because you are not a Israelite, man. It is, it is it's going over your head because the Lord, is, you are an Edomite, man. You got to get that through your head, Ricky. An Edomite has no salvation, all right? No salvation, man. And then on top of that, man, it's like, y'all Edomites, you so-called white people, man, y'all claim to read the Bible, but you don't follow nothing in the Bible, you know, like you don't follow not a damn thing in the Bible, man. So you just really what it is is a front, man. All right. I got another scripture, man. Psalms 119 verse 155. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they seek not thy statues. Yeah, man. So the Lord God, he says Sal salvation is far from the wicked because they seek not thy statues, man. You don't, you don't, you, you people out there, man. Especially you Americans, man. You're not interested in what Yahweh Bahashim Yahshah has set up upon earth, man. You're not interested in his ways of life, man. You're only seeking uh, your, your own ways, man. All right? Your own uh, 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 misguided uh, uh, um, bent, uh, uh, ways of, of reality that you think is uh, according to the scriptures, man. Like I said, you don't give a damn what you have about Shemel Shah, I think. All right? And um, let me see. Uh, got this other one real quick. And, uh, you know, like I said, man, because this really, this really is like, you know, uh, like I said, these guys, they're going to eventually run out of gas, whether they're getting paid off or not. Because us personally here in Cleveland, we think, Ricky, you know, we think you're an agent, you know, because you ain't just doing this um, with sincerity. All right. You doing this uh, really to, uh, you know, counteract brothers, however much they paying you or whatever the fucking case is, man. It don't matter. Like I said, you're going to run out of gas in like a, about another couple of months or <laughs> if we even hear that long, you gonna, we ain't going to, we ain't, we going to forget about you and we ain't even going to, um, <laughs> we ain't really going to uh, remember you. All right. You're just going to be another, uh, another one bites the dust with your bitch ass. Uh, Sirach 39 verse 24, all his ways are plain unto the holy, which are us, the separate nation of Israel. So are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. Yeah, man. So, well, we all the things that we said, the reincarnation, uh, how America's Babylon the Great in the scriptures, because um, there's two Babylon the Greats, if you don't know. All right. You got the virgin daughter of Babylon or, or, or the, also no, uh, or you got the ancient Babylon. Then you got the, the Babylon that, that, that was foretold that was going to get destroyed. All right. You know what I'm saying? So 
all the stands that we speak of, like those those are stumbling blocks to you. Even when we say the Lord is a so called Negro, so that's a stumbling block. But it's all good, man, because really, you know, really we hurting your feelings, man, with the scriptures, man. And uh, you know, and this will leads me to this other scripture, Sirach, or also known as Ecclesiasticus, twenty eight verse uh, seventeen. The stroke of the whip maketh uh, marks in the flesh, but the stroke of the tongue breaketh bones. And really, and that's what we doing, man. We we hurting feelings out there, man. <laughs> you know, we hurting feelings, man. And Ricky, guys like Ricky hate us, man. They they and he always say that we love us. He love us and this and the third. Well, if you really love this scripture, talk about how you got to help your brother and out. You know, a lot of brothers in our camp, man, we struggling. Hell, give us some, you know, send us some ends. Even though I'm not um, uh, advocating or, uh, you know, uh, saying, you know, uh, we about money. Because like, we don't give a shit about that. We keep your money. But he always talking about how he loves us and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Are you, are you your brother's keeper? You know? That's, well, I'm not, that's, that's, that's me, you know, uh, being facetious. All right? But, you know, like I said, hey, if Ricky is really about it, he'd really be trying to help brothers. But he's not. Goddamn liar. But uh, last scripture, and I'm ending it off with this, and you know what I'm saying, and um, um, then you know, hey, like I said, man, may the Lord uh, destroy this place soon, man. All right, but this is uh Matthew's chapter seven verse fifteen, and this applied to my man Ricky. All right, it says, "Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves." Yeah, man, you know, inwardly, man, like I said, he comes with that real soft-spoken, humble act. But really, Ricky, you Ricky Gantz and guys uh, like Ricky Gantz, like I said, the other the other motherfuckers just keep coming up to the brothers and the elders and the apostles. Really, you guys are um, you're raving wolves, man. You come up in the sheep clothing, you come up all humble. Really, your intentions are really, uh, you know, they're really uh, evil. And a lot of you people, if you could, you probably be fucking kill us, man. But you know what? It's all the heavenly Father's will. Like I said, may death come upon you people and you wicked people. Uh, the rest of you wicked people that want to see brothers. Uh, 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 drop dead, man. But you know what? The joke's gonna be on you, Jack. And with that, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, uh, great video for the brother. All right, that I did the land. The uh, great video for the brother. All right, uh, like I said, that made this uh video on Ricky. That's in the camp. Uh, that's in our camp. And I'm gonna say, hey, man. Hey, shalom to you, brothers out there. Uh, I'm gonna say, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachar Kadash, Rachatum. Hey, man. May this be the last year, cause this is your prophecy. That I'm say, shalom.